Hey friends, it's Shane from HotWrench.com, and in this episode, I'm going to direct you to a accessory off of ToolsWrench.com. There'll be links of where to buy this app, but what it is is a, a battery disconnect for vehicles that you don't drive very often. I've kind of kept this car around a sentimental value. It was my mom's, and uh, um, I'm just not ready to get rid of it yet, but I don't drive it enough, and I keep running into having a dead battery. It's a battery disconnect so that uh, you can do the same thing for vehicles you don't drive very much. All right, let's get to it. I've chosen to install this accessory on the negative post here. Pretty simple. Take off that stock cable. I'll go ahead and just install it temporarily to kind of get a feel for how I want to hook this up. I'll probably loosen this up and get myself into a good position. I want to make sure not stress or put any binding on that. The other thing I want to consider is the ability to disconnect this without being in the way of anything. Okay, so keep that consideration as well. So like I said, I'm looking to do something that's not going to stress the cable. And As you can see here, it was just a better deal and just a straighter shot to get rid of this clamp altogether and then just go back to bolting these two together. Now this is a metric vehicle so I want to encourage you to try to stick to metric fasteners. Just make it easier on yourself or the next person when grabbing tools. Now that I got my angle figured out, I'm snugged up enough to where I can go ahead and just break the disconnect. And you can see I just throw this back in here. Tuck this guy down here. And now I'm not going to have any more dead batteries. Alright, there you have it. There's how to install this uh, quick disconnect so that you could just use a vehicle when you want to use it and not uh, come out to a dead battery. I do want to say that the the you have to think about something too that just doing this and if you were going to walk away from it for say six months you should be charging your battery, have it on maintainer if you really want to get best life for that. Especially here in the Midwest where we get into freezing temperatures, it's really important to keep your batteries fully charged up. But like I said, in this case, you know, if I, if I don't drive this thing for a couple of weeks and then decide to go out and just keep the fuel fresh and save some gas money on the gas mileage, these little Kias are great. Um, I want to be able to do so and not have to worry about uh, charging that battery up uh, the night before. So. Whatever your reason, think about doing the best job, best quality, best craftsmanship. Uh, we'd always appreciate it. You know, you can head on over to uh, HowToRinch.com and get a membership uh, to support us or say thank you. We got t-shirts too, stickers. Uh, or you can go to ToolsWrench.com or look at the links below in this video to uh, find out where to purchase this battery disconnect for yourself. Clicking on that just supports us. Uh, no cost to you. We'd appreciate that. Uh, well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, free video and lesson. As always, we appreciate all your support. Make it a great day and keep wrenching.